Hey fellow Star Citizens, Scrapchat here. In my last video about running uh, some of the personal salvage missions, I received a lot of great feedback, most of which were corrections <laughs> to what I was doing, so I thought I would do an errata video and took down the other video, replacing it with this one. I've also created a separate video that is just the raw feed I used to make this video, that is the complete hour and 15 minutes of me running the missions and selling my loot. No commentary, but if you're interested in the details or watching me look like an idiot trying to find a place to land a Grim Hex, it could be worth a look-see. Basically, there is a salvage mission that if you run back-to-back -back for an hour and everything went exactly right, you could earn a million credits. Now, not everything went perfectly for me, of course, uh, and I only ended up with 847,000 uh, credits worth of drugs and Quantanium in 55 minutes. Overall, that, that's pretty good. It, it's not difficult, and for the most part, it wasn't particularly dangerous. Let's get the uh, usual ads out of the way so we can start earning some credits. If you're interested in playing Star Citizen, make sure to use the referral code listed here and also in the description. You'll earn additional credits of in-game money when you do. If you're a subscriber, leave a comment with your referral code. We'll randomly choose someone's referral code and promote it in our next video. We also belong to an awesome org and Discord server called Star Citizen Friends and Mentoring. If you're looking for people to talk to about Star Citizen with, spend time playing the game and learning the ins and outs of Star Citizen, then check us out. The link to the Discord server is also in the description. Alright, let's get started. For those who missed my last video on this topic, uh, there are missions in the personal section of the contract manager under salvage that cost 30,000 credits. You have 30 minutes to get to the salvage ship and do whatever it is you think you need to do uh, before security shows up. In my case, I go inside the ship in search of four 1SCU containers, which around 90% of the time, that's what you'll find. Three of these containers have drugs, and the fourth is Quantanium. The rest of the video explains how I took this mission and managed to earn over 800,000 credits in an hour running them. Okay, so I definitely made some missteps in my previous video about uh, stealing cargo, but I'm back now with a much more in-depth understanding of these missions. First I noticed they only appear around Crusader and Hurston, and there's only one uh, 30,000 credit mission for each planet at a time. I also found out, thanks to a uh, comment from a viewer, that uh, after you have uh, loot boxes from the salvage ship in your ship, it's perfectly acceptable to abort the mission. I was under the impression that would uh, hurt your chances of gaining another one anytime soon. As it turns out, once you abort the mission, another one shows up for the planet. I also mistakenly thought the non-drug container was a random container of burl or some other cheap material when, in fact, as pointed out by a viewer, um, it's actually Quantanium, which is worth a lot, actually. So yeah, my bad. Uh, which means you can expect to pick up one SCU of Maze, Widow, Slam, and Quantanium from this mission. On one mission, I also got a fifth container full of ETAM. Another viewer commented that you can only get this mission if you own a Vulture or Reclaimer. Fair point, I hadn't really uh, thought of that. But then I thought, what if you shared in a couple of salvage missions? Would that then unlock the juicy 30k salvage missions? To test this theory, I took my wife, Stardust65, who has never gone salvaging with me, and had her work the boxes on a couple of missions. Needless to say, after five salvage missions, she did gain access to these awesome 30k missions. Another way to do it is to uh, ask to borrow a friend's vulture and run the salvage missions on your own. But I think uh, being the box guy, working for free for a night of salvage is, is the way to go. In either case, if, if you're new and don't have any Star Citizen friends, then I'd look into joining an org. You know, like Star Citizen Friends of Mentoring. Heck, just uh, send me a friend request. Grab me the next time you see me on, and I'll happily run salvage missions with you until you get the golden 30k missions. So, after uh, running several missions with my whole A, I ran into a situation um, 
which is not really meant to deal with. Uh, that's combat. I had one Starfarer I visited. Uh, there were also two pirate NPCs waiting for me. They were both flying vultures, which normally wouldn't be a problem, but uh, yeah, not with my whole A. After that encounter, I decided to look at a more combat-oriented ship with some cargo capacity. It wouldn't need much. Uh, I started with, the, with my Avenger Titan, which is perfectly fine for light encounters. Uh, I ran a couple of missions with it, but uh, was limited to only two missions before I had to sell my loot. Then I decided to move up to my trusty uh, Cutlass Black, which turned out to actually be the all-around best ship for the job. In my previous video on, on these 30k missions, I envisioned myself flying between Crusader and Hurst and completing these salvage missions. Which, by the way, these are not really salvage missions. At least not, not the type you would expect to bring your Vulture out to. 30 minutes really is not long enough to make a decent profit when you just paid 30,000 credits. I think the, uh, the true nature of this mission is exactly what we're doing here. Snatch and grab. I have no idea how to actually complete this mission. What I did finally figure out is that you can just stay in whichever planetary system you prefer. As soon as you have transferred the four or five loot crates to your ship, just abort the mission and another one will pop up in a few seconds. I was shocked, honestly, at how quickly they, they would spawn. Um, kind of wish my mercenary missions would spawn that quickly. If you're running your missions around Hurston, then your closest scrapyard is uh, Reclamation and Disposal Ornth on Hurston which is where you can uh, sell your drugs. As for the Quantanium, your closest option is the Central Business District in Lorville. Both of these locations are planet-side and require you to take the time to fly through some dense atmosphere. And in case of uh, going to the CBD, there's a train ride and, and a lot of running around. The scrapyard on Hurston is quiet compared to Brio's Breaker Yard on uh, Daymar. Crusader, on the other hand, is amazing. The likelihood of you getting scanned by security is really low. Grim Hex will buy your maze for 90k per SEU, which is a standard market value, and will pay 21,000 credits for your Quantanium, which is only uh, 4,000 less than the standard market value. Uh, the rest of your drugs are either not sellable on Grim Hex or you take a, take a bit of a hit. So after I sold the maze and Quantanium on Grim Hex, I'd head on over to Brio's Breaker Yard on Daymar and hope for the best there uh, with the remaining drugs. With the process pretty much nailed down, I decided to run these missions over at Crusader for a full hour back to back, hopping from one salvage ship to another and then sell it all at the end. Thankfully, the uh, Star Citizen God smiled upon me and didn't cause a 30k or crash the program while I was recording. With a bit more practice, I think I could average 5 minutes per mission if I really pushed it. As it is, I managed to complete nine missions with an average of six minutes each, one of which didn't have any cargo and made for 874,000 credits, which is amazing. I think that's the most I've earned doing anything in the game in an hour. More than bunkers, more than bounties, more than running legal cargo, even more than mining. I would be interested to know if the 30k protection would extend to these missions, though. Um, that was my only real concern, losing my investment of 240,000 credits, which I don't know why that bothers me since I didn't seem to mind investing over a million credits uh, running barrel between Ida and Hurston. After running the risky salvage uh, job for 55 minutes, I headed over to Grimhex to sell the maze and Quantanium. You won't see it here, but I spent like 10 minutes trying to find the stupid pads. Uh, don't ask me why, but unless they're right in front of me uh, as I approach, it takes me forever to find them. Another trick I figured out is that you can land on the pads of Grim Hex, run down to the admin, and sell your cargo. Kind of like uh, how you can land at the surface entrance of the commons on New Babbage. So yeah, no need to request a, a hangar um, and check in your ship. From Grim Hex, I fly on down to Brio's Breaker Yard on Daymar and hope I don't run into anyone. Uh, also helps that it's, uh, that it's daytime. Uh, as it turned out, Brio's was, was really quiet, and I took care of business. After that final transaction and an hour and 15 minutes of my time, I had managed to earn 847,000 credits. That is insane. Maybe if uh, more people were running these missions, that wouldn't show up as often for me. I don't know. Um, I don't know, but this is a freaking gold mine, in my opinion. 
Don't forget, if you're interested, I made a walkthrough video with no commentary for my one hour of uh, running this mission in case you need to see it in more detail. Um, it's called Making 800K Selling Drugs Walkthrough. Uh, no commentary. Anyway, thanks for watching and have a great day. Scrap Jet out.